What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Delta Force. Unfortunately, this is not as positive as I was really hoping for and I feel like most of you guys have probably seen other content creators maybe talk about similar situations. So we're going to be talking about the Delta Force second playtest. So if you're just like myself and you're really excited for Delta Force, then leave a like on the channel, would really appreciate it, helps out the video. If you're excited for Delta Force just like myself, then leave a like on the video, would really appreciate it, helps out push out the channel. So the second playtest of Delta Force actually got released and I was really excited. I couldn't wait. There were so many things they said to what was going to be happening and it never did. And it was just a little bit disappointing for me because we finally got this second version of the playtest and a lot of us were hoping that it was going to be a different version. Well, it wasn't. It was the same version what it was previously. I totally understand it's because of Steam Fest and they want to get everyone involved and I totally get that and I think that's a really good thing. But obviously myself, I was lucky enough to play this game really early, but that's the thing. What I played really early was exactly the same what we're playing right now. Nothing new, nothing's changed, nothing. The one thing what just rubs me in the wrong way, troopers, more than anything, was the mist leading. So we saw that trailer and it showed like destruction on one of the maps, but we don't even play test it. They even told us that all the attachments will be unlocked from this second playtest. It never happened. They even told us that we was going to have four maps for this playtest and it never happened. The AI bots are still in the game so you can get RPG'd from a headshot across the map and it's just many other problems. It's really weird actually because this is the same version I swear like the first time we've done a playtest runs so much better than the second time. Like legit when this playtest came out I actually just went and just choose Battlefield instead because I just didn't want to do the same thing again. Playing the same stuff, same two maps again 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 it was just really boring. I done the month play test and I gave all my feedback and honest review over the game to make sure it gets better and improved. So because we're playing the exact same thing, I already gave my feedback man, there's nothing else to give. Trust me troopers, I'm not being ungrateful or anything like that, I'm just being honest, two maps just get really boring. I totally get it, it's an alpha or beta or whatever you would like to call it. And that's the thing, trust me, I'm not even mad about this game man, I really do like Delta Force. I have so much hope and promise of Delta Force and I'm really excited for it to come out so please don't think i'm being negative because i really want to see this game succeed i love it but just like other games i love battlefield but i get bored here and there you gotta keep stuff for what the players like to see but i totally understand why they probably wanted to release the same play test for the steam fest just making sure everyone gets the chance to play i totally get it but really for this opportunity they should have just gave us another build of the game because this is the one thing. This is technically the last build of this game until the early access comes out. Once the early access comes out, that's it, right? It, it's out. And it's just really annoying because like they've been very strict on the way how this game's been created because they want to create the game in all the same ways but just different platforms. So they want to create the game and make everything exactly the same so once it does go live then you can do cross progression and play on whatever device you would like to do. PC, console, even mobile. And I thought that was a really good thing. But then here we are still playing a playtest of the same alpha build knowing that the Chinese version of the mobile version is already out so it can't be they're creating everything in sync because the chinese version is already out and then that brings the question of why are we waiting so long for controller support then why are we waiting so long for the console version to come out then i thought all this was coming out at the same time it's really confusing and i don't understand why it definitely seems like the second time they've done the play test they definitely dropped the ball i don't know exactly what's going on over there maybe someone's trying to call the shots and they don't even know what's going on like legit even on the twitter side i was really confused i was like who was running the delta force twitter account because i saw them repost a dot disrespect tweet and everyone was just like dude what are you doing and i even quoted on it and i was like i wonder how long it would take them to remove this tweet and they did they did remove it and so they should safety first come on but it just shows how disconnected they are from the internet that the fact is they don't even know anything even the situation of dot disrespect and they start promoting that on their own game that doesn't look good so for me personally i feel like there's definitely a lot of lack of research and studying when it comes to giving this information to the community so delta force if you listen to us i love you guys but you need to step it up this is the one thing i do want to talk about troopers because this playtest it has came out and there actually is some new stuff in this playtest they have a new ui and they have a couple of extra things 
And that's a really good and all and everything. But you got to think about it. This playtest obviously came out a month before this playtest. And it's the exact same build. So that entire time, like nearly a month and a half, and nothing's really changed, was kind of alarming. It really makes me think, what are they doing over there? Yeah, it's just weird. Like, even all the bugs, what were in the previous version of this game, it's still already there because it's the exact same version. It's just weird because we have millions of people who are trying this game out for the first time on Steam and this is what they're going to experience. I feel like it's still going to be a good experience just like myself. First time I played it, I really enjoyed it. But just knowing that this is actually a really, really old build. This build is super old. This came out in August 2023. So the fact is we had a month and a half later and we still got the same build, but just a little bit of UI improvements. I really hope that there is a different version of this game. I really do, because if this is the same version and it's took them about a year and they just improved a couple of UI stuff, that is extremely alarming. And I don't think that is the case. I think they're just relaunching the same version. I guarantee they do have something else cooking in the oven. It just doesn't make any sense. It's just really weird. I've never seen games release like a playtest in this type of fashion before. Okay, this is Future Neon from a previous day. I actually just spoke to one of the devs from Delta Force and just asked them about a build of a game. Just asking them if do they actually have another build cooking up in the oven. And they do. They do have another build. Although I asked them why do they not release that build for this current playtest and i didn't get a response from that and i'm assuming the reason why i didn't get a response is probably because he can't comment on it what i was saying was why are you doing a playtest with millions of people who are playing this for the first time their first interaction their first impressions and it's an old version of the game this is their biggest opportunity to get a bunch of new players and they release an old version. So why is that? Is there a new version currently cooking in the oven? And that's what I did tell them. So yeah, that's all the Delta Force stuff. It's a little bit confusing. I don't understand why. I obviously can't complain because Delta Force is a really good game. I am enjoying it. It is a lot of fun. I just don't understand why I have to play the same thing all over again. I wish I was doing something a little bit more new. You know, being a playtest person, playing new stuff, that's a really good thing, right? You can go and give your feedback, but I can't give feedback on stuff I already done. Same bug what has been previously. I just wish there was new stuff so I can help this game improve for the future. Anyway, troopers, that's all the information and all the talk what we have about delta force let me know in the comment section what you think about all of this and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the battlefield